my name is Ganesh Subramaniam. I'm the Product Marketing Manager for FX3S. I'm here today to demonstrate the FX3S Raid Boot Disk Kit. FX3S belongs to the FX3 family of super speed USB controllers. Along with the FX3 capabilities, FX3 adds two storage ports. These two storage ports can be configured in any combination of SD, SDIO, and EMMC. In addition to the two storage ports, FX3S can also act as a RAID on chip controller with support for RAID 0 and RAID 1. It is a RAID 1 functionality along with AutoSync that we're going to demonstrate here today in this video. Now let's examine the kit. Now this here is the FX3S RAID boot disk kit. This kit is made by Pactron and is available for purchase from their website at pactronstore.com. As you can see, the kit, there is the FX3S RAID on chip controller a super speed USB connector, an SPA flash that is used for booting FX3S, a 10-bit connector that has a UART interface for debug, and a slave MMC interface that can be used to connect to a board management controller, and two SD card slots which can be used for connecting two SD cards in RAID 1 configuration. Now let's move on to the RAID 1 demo. To demonstrate the RAID 1 functionality, first I'm going to plug in the FX3S RAID boot disk kit into the super speed port of my laptop. Once plugged in, it should enumerate as a mass storage class drive. As you can notice, it has only one drive, although there are two SD cards, demonstrating that the SD cards are now configured as RAID 1. Now, I'm going to format this RAID disk to make sure everything is clean. Once formatted, I'm going to copy a video file onto this disk. Next, I'm going to play this video file. Now, as this file is playing, I'm going to simulate an SD card failure by removing one of the two SD cards. But as you notice, the video is playing uninterrupted showing that the FX3's radon chip controller seamlessly shifted the read operation onto the other SD card, demonstrating RAID 1 functionality. Now, let's examine AutoSync. To demonstrate the AutoSync functionality, I'm going to insert the SD card from the previous operation into the SD card slot. Next, I'm going to format that disk to make it a fresh SD card. And then I'm going to insert that disk to simulate the insertion of a fresh SD card in response to an SD card failure. Once I inserted the SD card, the FX3's radon chip controller was able to detect that insertion and it immediately started syncing the contents of the good SD card onto the fresh SD card. That's indicated by this blue LED light turning on, showing that synchronization is in progress. This typically takes about a gigabyte per minute. And here in this case, I've inserted an eight gigabyte SD card. So it takes approximately about seven to eight minutes. Now, as you can see, the blue LED light has turned off telling us that the auto synchronization is complete. To check whether the auto synchronization was successful, I'm going to remove that SD card that I inserted earlier and stick it back into the SD card slot. It pops up as a drive. And as you can see, the video file on that card has been restored, showing that auto synchronization was successful. Now to check if that video file would play, let's click on it again to see if it works. The video, play, the video file does play successfully, showing that auto synchronization was successful. Now this concludes the demonstration of the FX3S RAID boot disk kit. Thank you for watching. <music>